Welcome back to Josh's Auto. Uh, it's been a little while since uh, I gave an update on the 1967 Jeep Willis. So we already got the engine tore apart. So I didn't get a chance to film it to put it up. But here we've got the engine. It's tore apart, side cover off, and the crankshaft out, and all the pistons and connecting rods out. So we're currently waiting on the machine shop. We've taken the pistons and connecting rods to the machine shop to get the connecting rod replaced. So back here for cylinder number four, so it had uh, become oblong and uh, would not work correctly with a new set of bearings. So once we get the connecting rod back, then we can go ahead and, and put it back together fully assemble everything and go ahead and put it back in the Jeep. So we're getting excited for that. It should be uh, connecting rods and pistons should be ready any time now. So we can go ahead and uh, get it put back together. So with the 67 Jeep Willis, like I said, we had already taken it apart. We've got the side cover, the front timing cover, so this one's actually gear driven instead of chain driven. So in the crankshaft and our oil pickup tube for for the oil pump to pick up the oil out of the oil pan and of course our main caps here. So we're still in the process of waiting for the uh, for the connecting rods to come back from the machine shop. So hopefully they'll be back pretty soon so we can get back to assembling it so and I'll try and uh, try and get a video out of reassembling the engine and then reinstalling the engine thanks for watching